Uh, welcome to another photo link video. Uh, this one is going to be uh, removing the yellow tinge from certain um, lenses from vintage lenses from the 1960s and early 70s. Uh, what happened is in the 1960s and the early 70s uh, they used a process which has since been outlawed where in certain elements in the lens usually the uh, final element the one nearest the uh, film plane or the sensor plane, uh, they used a radioactive substance, either barium or uranium or something of this nature, uh, which helped in the refraction process. And uh, what it does is over time it decays and um, uh, gives this uh, yellow color, as you can see. You can tell this is evident by holding your lens open with the aperture wide open over a piece of paper and seeing if you get a yellowish tint when you look through the lens. This is uh, not to be confused with the um, actual uh, off the front of the lens, if light is reflected, you often get a golden color. Uh, this is uh, due to the uh, lens coating on the lens. Uh, it's a magnesium fluoride or other uh, compounds that uh, is deposited by vacuum on the lens uh, to prevent uh, uh, reflection. Um, this coating is normal, but uh, what it will do is transmit colorless light. Here we have a lens that has been treated, um, holding it over the paper at wide open aperture to uh, take a look at the light that is transmitted through the lens. And if you notice, this is colorless. Uh, whereas the other one previously uh, transmitted a yellow tinge. Now we'll talk about removing uh, that tinge. In order to treat uh, the lens for that uh, yellow tint, what we have to do is expose the lens for a period of time to uh, high value or high volume UV, ultraviolet light. Uh, usually, here's a cutaway view of a 35 millimeter tachymar. And um, what you have to understand is usually uh, the radioactive element is the last element in the lens. So we will want to make sure that the UV um, is exposed to both, both the front and the rear of the lens, but uh, we want to make sure that that last element gets a large dose of UV until the yellow is gone. First, we have to prepare that lens for the UV treatment so let's discuss that now. The first thing that we will want to do is take that lens and wrap the barrel of the lens, exposing both the front and the rear lens surfaces, but uh, wrap them in aluminum foil. The reason being is if you set this lens in the sun, um, what will happen is the black will absorb the sunlight and get very warm. Uh, nasty things can happen when that occurs. Uh, number one, it uh, can allow lubricants and so forth to leak in the lens and spread over the optics. It can damage the optics. It can damage the seals through high heat and all sorts of things. So we'll want to wrap that lens in aluminum foil. Although the lens is not, um, it's not being done here, we will want to position the lens uh, because what will happen a lot of times, you can even... Uh, so, but you want to set it on something that doesn't burn or uh, place it up high enough that you don't get a magnifying glass on the wood technique where uh, uh, the, the lens will uh, focus light onto a surface and perhaps um, uh, cause a fire or smoke. You will usually want to place the um, lens uh, indirect sunlight. Uh, the reason being is uh, certain window glass will, ser will filter UV. Uh, you want uh, some way of placing the lens uh, to get maximize UV. Now I've tried uh, UV bulbs. Uh, they aren't strong enough. The best thing to use is the sun. Uh, the direct sun will uh, cure faster than anything will at all. But anyways, uh, you set the lens wrapped in aluminum foil um, with the elements pointed at the sun. 
periodically you will want to take the lens and turn it over so both sides of the lens are exposed equally to the sun's UV rays. Uh, I emphasize that it should be in direct sunlight. Uh, the UV bulbs and so forth don't work. The sun works the best. Bright sunshine. And um, uh, you'll want to expose the front and the rear elements um, in um, you know, pretty much equal proportions. Or if one's going to get more of the treatment, make sure it is the rear element. Let me emphasize, this will take some time. Uh, so it's going to take uh, five to seven days in bright sunlight uh, cumulative. So uh, give it some time and let it, uh, let it do its job. After you're done with that process, this should be the result. Uh, what you'll get is you'll get a lens that is almost totally clear. There might be a very, very, very slight uh, yellow tinge to it, but um, that yellow tinge is easily taken care of by the um, white balance in your camera. Um, after you're done uh, doing that, here's a trick that I've learned that is uh, really a good one. Uh, if you have uh, paint worn off of your lens uh, and some of the focusing areas and so forth, you go out and you get a black um, permanent magic marker, a fine point, and touch those areas up. It works a lot better than trying to repaint them. So try that uh, black magic marker trick. Here's a uh, picture taken with one of my treated um, uh, Tacumar lenses. This, uh, this is uh, totally unretouched. If you'll notice, it's got beautiful color. Uh, no tint or no uh, yellow tint. Uh, what it's also got is uh, great acuteness. It's um, good contrast and resolution. Um, I I love this lens because of uh, these factors. The yellowness uh, using this procedure just turned out to be an inconvenience. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please visit my site, www.photolink.com, uh, for more tricks uh, and training on um, uh, digital photography. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Please visit the site, www.fotolink.com, and uh, thank you very much for watching.